morning guys, Mark Farashi, ProTech Dog Training. On the road, heading the tractor supply to work dogs as usual. Um, thought I'd have a yak session on my way here. In a general sense, if you've been watching my series as of late with Legend, these dogs, this dog and another dog I'm working right now, have been trained by another trainer that does a lot of luring, a lot of uh, emphasis on behavior of heel, sit down, stay. You know? And behavior is important, don't get me wrong. When you build a dog, there's so many factors, sending so many more factors that go into that bill of the animal that make a complete package, that make a dog that's um, a companion dog that's really well fitted and does a lot more than just the heel sit down stay in there if their head is in the right place. That's the difference, right? Because you're conscious and aware of drive states, because you're conscious and aware of impulse control. These are the things that I've been trying to point out in my series with Legend because Legend has none of those, right? No impulse control at all. Dogs are spastic and going crazy and everything because it doesn't understand it's supposed to wait. Wait at the doorways, wait at the, um, for the impulse control, waiting for the food to go down. Um, just all of it that you build in. And my emphasis has been what I've been trying to tell you guys is that it's so much more than heel sit down stay, okay? Behaviors are only a minuscule part of it, right? And as you build a dog, if you're gonna build a dog from a puppy, and you build that dog, there's, there's a lot that goes into that build, right? To complete a, a complete package and a product, as you hear me saying, right? Uh, the dog should be a, a dog you take any place with you, friendly and fine, and, and then end up doing his job in the protection sense of things. But so much more goes into building that complete package, okay? Remember that it's not just he'll sit down and stay, okay? just got done working legend at the park and that's kind of where my head's at and seeing all the holes in the dog's training and it's coming together don't get me wrong we've got a lot of stuff happening but i just keep thinking man this dog's got so much drive it would have been done when it was young and molded and shaped in the right way this dog's state of mind would be in a totally different place and you'd have a hell of a dog all right uh, and then they get stuck on the luring they get stuck on the behaviors because that's all that you're getting fed when you're watching it online and then pretty soon you think you're a trainer and you say, poof, I'm a trainer and you have no clue. All right? Keep in mind that my background comes from a gentleman that worked at San Rafael Seeing Eye Dogs and I understood what it meant when you had to have a dog out in public and do all the things that it requires to have a dog to be able to go out into those into those places, to be able to take on the bus with you, to go into the restaurants, to do all that. It's where the dog's head's at within its environment so that it learns to relax so that it can be in these environments with just chill factor, right? And that's, it's a certain way of building the animal that c completes that product, right? So keep it in mind, um, and then hopefully you're learning something by watching me go through the trials and tribulations with Legend, because that's what we're working on, is impulse control, dog's name first, preparatory to any to command, so the dog really starts to learn to wait, pay attention, right? Very important. All right, I'll let you guys go. I'll see if I can get some more videos as we go along. I think I uploaded one last night with Legend at, at uh, the pet store. Excuse me, at Tractor Supply, and that's kind of where we're headed right now after we've worked at the park. So we should have a lot of uh, energy has been burned off the animal, and uh, we'll see how it goes, and we'll go into that slow, right? That whole thing of going slow. In general, though, what you want to do is take the dog from a high to a low, high to a low, so the dog learns to take its mental state of mind and be able to transfer it into that real easy, right? One of the things that I remember my boss showing me with the San Rafael Seeing Eye Dogs, the, the uh, Seeing Eye Dogs, was how he got a dog to be um, aware of and to start to show you. It's kind of a test when you've got a golden or if you've got a... Uh, a Labrador, these breeds that have, a, and especially with the genetic stamps they're breeding, they're breeding a genetic stamp towards having a dog that is going to fulfill the need of a service dog, of a dog that's a uh, seeing eye dog, or a dog that's going to be there to help their companion, their, their owners, right? And so you want to bring this out in the animal, you want to foster it. So one of those things that I'll do is I'll go down in a busy day, and I'll be working the dog in a kind of a normal fashion, and all of a sudden I'll see an aisle with a bunch of people on it, real crowded, right? And then I will go into that and I will go down to zero, right? 
Nope. And I'll right away kind of accent the fact that the dog is kind of supposed to stay away from those people and stay in the heel. And, and you'll see these dogs with a genetic stamp, the Labradors, the, the Goldens, the dogs that have basically been bred to fulfill the function of a service dog or a seeing eye dog. And their genetic stamp is there real heavy. And you'll see them go into a flow and they'll actually start kind of pushing into the owner as you're going around people to try to, and, and they fall into it, right? And when you see that, you know that you've got a good seeing eye dog, good service dog, a dog that has that potential to mold, shape, and form that demeanor that's important in that dog's function in the real world, right? It's more than just heel, sit down, stay, right? That dog has to fulfill a function and, and have the mental attitude that he's there to help his owner. And there is something that not all dogs have, but those that have a good breeding program and bred for that are gonna be more, have more disposition more uh, genetic stamp towards that predisposition to do that job, right? So not all dogs can do it, but every now and then I'll go out and I'll kind of throw that at the dog and see if they, they show this to me, if they give it to me. And when I see it, it's like, ah, I got it, right? And then I know the dog would do very well in those areas, right? All right, I'll let you guys go. Mark Farash, Protect Dog Training, yakking at the screen about dogs. Once again, you have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.